Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. Just over a year ago, I did a tutorial called Altered Book of Pockets. And in that step-by-step -step tutorial, which I will link down below, I made this book. So we altered a book and we made it into a book of pockets. There are 42 pockets in this book, plus all of the extras that I added at the embellishing stage, which is kind of what this video is about. I'm doing a flip through and I'm gonna go through all of the things that I did the idea for this book is for it to be your journaling companion. Uh, that's what I had envisioned in my mind. You have a book like this next to you and it's always in use. You're popping things in, you're taking things out as you need them. You find something on your desk, you think, oh, I can use this for something. You pop it in the book. You're embellishing a journal, you take something out of the book. But that's just only one idea. Like you can have this as your special moments, memory kind of book where you go in and you, you, know, you, you use every pocket. So it's completely up to you and the possibilities are endless. And here I am sharing this with you, hoping to inspire you. All right, so let the flip through begin. Okay, as you can see right off, I have covered the spine with a little bit of fabric and I made sure that it's glued down right in those grooves. The next thing I did, and I think this is so much fun. This is, as you can see, like a little belly band and I popped this little piece of gold cardstock in there. Doesn't look gold in the video. So basically what this is, it's just a piece of ribbon, just some ribbon like this, brown ribbon. And basically all I did, as you can see, is I stuck down little pieces. These are some stickers on black cardstock. Same thing here, just some little stickers. There's actually one, two, three, four pieces here, but uh, that's all unimportant. Just some stickers on black cardstock then I, that I then glued on to a piece of ribbon. And then I wrapped that ribbon onto the inside and it disappears here because it's wrapped onto the inside, glued down. I made sure that this is quite tight. I don't want it loose. So it's, I kind of pulled it really tight, glued it down and then covered it with this pretty scrapbook paper. A very simple, but very effective, which tends to be something that I say quite a lot. And then pop that in there. And it just looks so good. Looks actually so much better than the initial piece that I had planned for this book. All right, and you can see I have some gold book corners there and on the back as well. This is washi tape. This was the title of the book, which I decided to cover up. This is the washi tape that I use and I will leave a link down below and coupon code as well. So basically all I did is ripped it, as you can see, to get those uneven edges. And then the ripped bit I glued down on this side and that's all that is all right moving right along even though this is a book of pockets and there's like I said I think 42 pockets I created more pockets by adding you know obviously by creating more pockets so here is just this is actually from a tea packet they made a little like um a cluster type of thing here folded a doily over the top over here and then there's a tag with the pocket I suppose we're going with that pocket theme today so there we go, a tag with the pocket and that lives in the pocket. Next, this is a laminated, uh, a kind of a bookmark, I suppose. And I just clip that in here. Then over here, this is a single pocket over here and I've just got some stickers. Uh, actually, this is all from the washi tape shop. They're like washi tape stickers. And then there's a little tag in there. This was an actual bookmark from a bookshop. And I just backed it with some paper and made that into like a little tag or a bookmark or, you know, whatever the owner of the book wants to do with it. And then on this side over here, I decoupaged some napkin and just added this beautiful gold butterfly, golden green butterfly. And this is the napkin you can see. So I just uh, decoupaged it right on top and I added a little bit of brown watercolor to the glue. So that's why it has this kind of a brownish look as opposed to this, you know, clean look here. I don't know if you really want to know all the details of all the things that I did, but I'll, I suppose I'll mention them because I don't know. All right, over here we have another pocket on a pocket and a little tag in there. The more pockets, the more fun because it's a pocket book, right? This one here opens up. It's like a little, you know, writing 
space and this is just I think it was from an old calendar I made this years ago I think I even have a tutorial on this so that kind of lives there and then I just popped some other things this is a tag with some texture paste through a doily so it actually looks like doily but it's actually texture paste on some thick scrapbook paper and then just the journaling spot over here and that lives in that large back pocket there and I like to kind of layer it of course so you can see all the bits and pieces moving along the world is a book and those who do not travel only read one page you know do you agree with that what about those who don't travel but read how about this the world is a book and those who read travel the world how about this the world is a book but the book is not a book the book is a pocket book all right let's move along so here we have like a double pocket thing happening so let's start over here here is one pocket and then on the other side is another pocket but it's all on the same page so in there i just popped in an envelope to stuff more things into of course it makes total sense some beautiful paper for writing and a little uh, magazine image actually that I, ha I have backed onto some cardstock I guess and sewn all around and there we have it. And this again is washi tape from the washi tape shop. I think I'll just link all of them uh, down below so you can have a look. And basically all I do is I don't want that straight edge look if that makes sense. So I just kind of cut a wiggly line like this in the washi tape. And that's actually much easier to do when you have washi tape that has this backing on it. It would be hard if it's sticky washi tape without the backing, I mean. That would be difficult to sort of cut that wiggly line. So, turning the page. Okay, so let's start with the pocket first here. I've just popped in some more, you know, paper for writing. And then over here, what I did is I glued down this pocket. This is also texture paste on some scrapbook paper and I actually use this scrapbook paper throughout the journal you'll see just for some cohesion I guess and then over here I did a few pieces of paper stitched it onto some cardstock and then the cardstock piece gets stuck in there and that can be removed and replaced with something else as well okay and then here we have a single short pocket like this and a little journaling spot this is like the olden days um you know those i have no words i won't even attempt I, th I think you know what i mean all right so that goes over there and then of course more pockets because why not it's a pocket book and then here again you can see what i mean so adding a little bit of cohesion there with you know just made a little tag using that same scrapbook paper look at all this beautiful texture and this texture paste love it another tag and another olden day thing this is from a book it's not actually vintage things it's uh, from books and i backed it onto some paper and just made that into a journaling card and then again for some cohesion i added the cats they're also from the washi tape shop and it's called chunky cats look at this one lying on all of the books and then i use some rub-ons here to write happy adding little subliminal messages you know they're not really subliminal but okay so what i did over here is i have this beautiful handmade paper it's actually not handmade it just looks handmade and i glued that down made it into like a little journaling spot these are some leftover corners from when i cut tags i like to glue those corners onto the pages and then I use this beautiful napkin that I have. Look at those gorgeous birds. And you will be seeing these birds throughout the journal as well. So I decoupage that right on top of that paper. And it just completely blends in as if it was, you know, a part of it from the beginning. Again, some stickers from the washi tape shop. So of course, this is a pocket. And I just popped a few little pieces in there. This is actually from... A tablecloth I always look at all the all of these things I can cut out and use you know I'm sure you do that too here is a little cheeky owl this is uh, cut out from a magazine National Geographic or Australian Geographic to be to be what correct to be correct and again rub-ons here it says lovely and you will see another owl when I turn the page. They're just so cute, the owls. This here is a pocket and I have a, a little something in here. So as you know, oh yes, this is from my uh, DIY postcards video. I'm going to link that down below. 
I'll link everything down below. And that's also from a book. I don't use printables, as you know. And when you do see printables like this one, no, actually, this is scrapbook paper. I don't use printables because I don't have a printer. I kind of do, but I don't. And then I have a pocket here, and then I have a pocket here. My printer only prints black and white, so I can't really, you know. Be who you are because who you are is amazing, darling. And don't you forget it. Moving right along. There's another little owl from Australian Geographic. And then here, oh, I love this one. This one's really fun. So we have four pockets here. This is also a washi tape sticker. I just love washi tape stickers. Can you tell? Oh, who am I kidding? I love all the things. Here is a little something, a journaling spot. And a little something else. This is rub-ons here that I put. A little journaling card spot type of thing and another one like do you want i'm pretty sure you don't really want to read all this do you no one ever made a difference by being like everyone else mm. okay that's what that one says all positive things in here apart from this one do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. that's more like a shark attack music isn't it let's move along shall we this is embroidery floss so of course if you watch that video where i made this book you will see exactly how i did this and i just think embroidery floss stitching hand stitching like this always looks so fabulous doesn't matter what you do if you do just a little cross here if you do just a little bit you know just two three stitches it just looks so beautiful okay here we have wiggly washi tape and some more birds is this a thing that comes with age this fascination with birds i never had it before and now all of a sudden i just love birds here's another little thing demonstrating that that's uh, a pocket right there yes you guessed it ladies and gentlemen another pocket isn't this beautiful a journaling spot this is also from a magazine or a book i mean who's going to keep track of all of these things but i do know that these types of images when i cut them out they all have writing on the back because they're from magazines and books so that's why i back them onto some cardstock some tea dyed cardstock all right so this is a, a nice little thing uh here's a little butterfly so that's pocket number one here and it's also the reason why I didn't go all the way to the top with this washi tape because, you know, it kind of ends in a point here. Not that that's really an important thing to know, but there it is. This is really cute. Uh, that's a pocket. Did you know? Did you know that? that yes, that is a pocket. <laughs> so this is a little notepad with some, what, what would you call it? Like a scrappy notepad kind of thing. I love making these things. And, you know, just a little piece of, just some piece of paper stacked together, a little piece of cardstock or, uh, sorry, scrapbook paper that goes over top. And then you just sew right through. And it's just so cool looking. And back into its little home it goes. Turning the page. Okay, this here is washi tape. Again, I will leave all the links and the coupon codes. So I really, really love this one because it kind of looks like sticky tape or cello tape uh, but printed on i use it here and it's just beautiful it just looks really cool it does kind of have that shininess as you can see just like sticky tape but so does pretty much everything when you turn it towards the light well not everything why did i say that like that doesn't have any shine this magazine image has a little bit of shine to it because it's a magazine image or it could have been from a book i'm not sure there's a little flying bird right there and i backed it onto some avocado dyed cardstock and the thing is, you can use original, I, I've mentioned this so many times before, all of these things you cut out, you use in your journals, they have to be the original. So you can cut out a picture from a book and use it, but you can't scan it and then use it over and over and over again, if that makes sense. I'm pretty sure it does, because you're not reproducing and you're not copying, you're using the original. Okay, here is another little tag with the words, grateful heart because you know positivity in this book and then just a little reminder over here to sometimes let a little bit loose and be a little bit of a daredevil and then this again i won't repeat myself just you know so back in you go little man with the little shorts all right turning the pages 
this is just an envelope that I glued down and popped in some beautiful pieces of paper that can be used for whatever purpose. And I'm really, I was kicking myself for not remembering to tie a little piece of string underneath and to tie a little bow here. But it's okay, I'll remember next time. Again, washi tape shop, washi tape. And then over here we have a, a pocket here with this tag that says joy. Yes, we have gratefulness, we have happiness, we have joy, we have love, we have all sorts of things. And then these little pieces, you know, scrapbook paper cut out, and this is a printable that somebody sent to me. Thank you very much, Lee. And then over here, this is a stamp, it's coming up as really dark, but it's not actually this dark. And again, it's a stamp from the washi tape shop, and I use a lot of washi tape stuff in here simply because I have all of my washi tape stuff in one box and it was next to me, you know, when I was rushing to finish this journal last night. So there's that. And look, it says, You are loved. Over here, we have some uneven torn pockets. Really love that look and uh, just popped some stuff in there again, you know. Uh, this is me attempting my hand at, I'm not sure what, just uh, all sorts of stuff here. Washi tapes, book image ripped page. This is from that backing paper from when you purchase stamps and, you know, scrapbook paper. And there you go, it's just a journaling spot and a whole lot of fun. And when we turn the page, this is Walt Whitman. Oop. And this is a little poem by Walt Whitman. This one right here is a whole lot of fun. Look at this. There's a pocket here and here and here and here. So let's pull it all out and then you can see that's what it looks like. So we have a pocket there and we have a large one here, small one here and then a large one over there. So quite a lot of fun. Uh, this is again, you know, you know what that is when it's backed on some tea dyed paper. This is just some more nice words, the definitions of all of those things. Here's a little card. I was just playing around, you know, just glued two pieces of paper down, ink the edges, and in there it goes. And this is a printable that uh, actually somebody sent to me, so in there it goes. Okay, then we turn the page. This is a page from a book that I ripped out, and again, life's gifts are scattered in abundance for all our hearts to see. You know, I went for a walk yesterday and I'm not sure I really want to go into this, but I spent a good 15 minutes looking at bees. Don't think I've ever done that in my whole life before, maybe when I was a kid. Okay, what we have here is three pockets. Actually, it's not three, it's six because each one of these has two pockets here and then also doesn't have pockets at the back, so forget about that bit. Okay, so here we go. Pocket there. Silence. That's quite nice too. And I filled it up with tags. This one says, your kind heart makes mine thankful. And you know, you get the point. I just filled it up with tags and stuff. Oh, this one here, this is a fun one. It's a little booklet. Yes, that's quite fun. I like that. It's this way up. This, this, this is actually wallpaper. What does this one say? Enjoy the journey. There we go. And then we have some cats again. And then here what I did, look at this, I thought it was really cool. I just glued down stickers and then cut them where the cut, you know, where the pockets are cut. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and then here, some more of that scrapbook paper that I was mentioning before. Oh, this one's hiding. Let's pop you here so you can be seen. And then very subtle little stickers over here. Turn the page and then, you know, just more stuff in there. This is from a magazine. And I just stamped that word. Hi. Uh, no, I didn't stamp it. It's rub-ons, rub-on letters and stuff. All right. And then again, more stickers, those transparent stickers and decoupage birds. Love it. And then here we have a laminated little tag. I mean, uh, a bookmark. This is a bookmark in shape of a tag. And that's actually just scrapbook paper. And I stamped this flower thing there and then I laminated it. All right, turning the page here, we have a pocket over here with a tag. 
and then over here again this is actually the plastic tablecloth and I actually purchased some of it just for these little flowers and then anyway I um, you know stitched it onto this card I mean I didn't go and purchase I'm not gonna go and purchase plastic tablecloths so I can cut them down I just asked for a little bit extra when they were cutting it down okay and then here I just glued these two pieces of paper for some journaling it's just from a notepad and I turned one of them upside down and again more of that scrapbook paper and I popped in a little napkin and you know people always ask me where do you get your napkins from I don't have I don't know what to tell you I buy napkins where I see them and usually I will find them in in uh, like op shops and stuff sometimes people send me a happy mail and they might include one or two napkins I can't really say this is where I get all my napkins from because you know I just get them where I find them and then this is also from a notepad and I glued it down and then this here is from this book which a lot of you know about and which I had my eye on for so long and it was actually given to me as a gift by one of my lovely 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 subscribers slash customers and I'm just so grateful and I just love it so much love it and there was a heading here that said author's note or something like acknowledgements or something like that so I just used the stickers from that book to cover that up and they kind of she's lying down looking down he's lying down looking up I don't know I did it didn't I popped it down there let's see what this one says friends are easy to find hard to let go of and impossible to forget oh yes they are and then we have a tag here and in its little home it goes and that is the end of this book i have some of those corner protectors at the back this here is this colorment this book was uh, quite an old book i mean it's not that old but it could have been from the 80s uh, I, I talk about it in the actual tutorial because I destroyed the book, didn't I, by doing all of this. However, this book was published in the 80s, yet it, was, it has never been read. And the reason why I know that it has never been read, and you can actually see it in the tutorial, is because some of the pages were still glued up the top, you know, when they do the cutting and then they don't, you know, you have to kind of um, open it. I don't know how to explain it, but... The point is, sometimes people get angry about me ripping up book pages or me doing this type of thing. They say, how can you destroy a book? Or, I am a huge book lover. I cannot watch this video because you're destroying a book. Let me just say that I am a huge book lover. <laughs> Let's get that out. <laughs> By me destroying books, uh, first of all, I'm not destroying books. I am giving them new life because i love them because i love books there we have it folks that is the end of this flip through i hope you feel inspired and one final note i don't really know if i want to draw attention to this but i'm going to because i really love this look and what happened here is i wanted to do a little bit of zigzag stitching and then my machine decided to have a little party of its own and it decided to, you know, sometimes do a good job and at other, other times it was kind of like skipping all sorts of stitching here because it just wanted to be a little daredevil. All right. And because there was a lot of skip stitches and not just one or two here and there, it was very obvious. And so I decided to go in again just with a straight stitch. And just stitch a straight line like this to take away from the skip stitches I love this look so much I can still see the skip stitches yes I can like it didn't take it away completely however this would look really really nice if you manage to get the zigzag thing going around with no skip stitches and then you know I'm gonna keep playing around with this because I just love this look so much all right please let me know what you think let me know if you have any further suggestions if you got any you know new ideas or anything like that let me know what let me know your thoughts thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye